all is going well and that you're staying warm and cozy on these cold cold nights holy cow like last night dropped down to 16 degrees like it is freezing anyway today's video is going to be my family's nighttime routine you guys really seem to enjoy my morning routine as a working mom so i figured i'd go ahead and show you my nighttime routine with my family as well i am partnering up with my friend megan from make loves brie she is doing her morning routine with her gorgeous family so be sure to check out her channel as well i'll have it linked down below and yeah i'm super excited it's my first youtube collaboration and her page is amazing if you like my content, you'll definitely love her content. So when you're done with this video, make sure to check out hers as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this nighttime routine and I'll see you guys next time. So it's around six o'clock and I start off my night routine by consolidating my planners. I have a family planner as well as a personal planner and a work planner. So I pull out my planners. I just see what I accomplished for the day and what I need to accomplish the next day and just task ahead. I also use these stickers to mark off what was finished that way I don't have to worry about it and go back to it so once I finish the planners I go ahead and just do a quick pickup of all of Edison's toys in the living room using these baskets are phenomenal for containing the mess and then I go outside real quick to pick up some firewood I move the firewood to our pergola that way I don't have to go out in the snow it's just right there and it's airing out and drying so now that I've moved the firewood inside, I am now picking up the rest of the living room. It is not a deep clean, it's just a quick clean that will get us to the weekend and just putting things back where they belong so it looks nice and neat in a nice place to just chill for the rest of the night. Also, can we give Edison a round of applause because he stayed in his high chair so well and this never happens y'all generally he is crying he is fussing but tonight he was just so good in his high chair so thank you so much baby So now that the living room is straightened, I can start to make a dinner. I go ahead and write all my meal plans in our family planner because I will definitely forget. So I go ahead and whip that out and see what we're having for dinner that night. That night we had pasta bolognese and so it was a really easy dinner so I'm not going to really walk you guys through it but I will show you clips of us making it. So Steven usually gets home around 6.37, it's around 7 today, and so he's just getting in and saying hello. If I'm making a more complex dinner, he'll generally help me out in the kitchen. However, like I said, this dinner is super easy, so I'm putting Steven to work on making a fire because that helps keep the house warm and our energy costs down, and I love it.
So while Stephen is making the fire and while dinner is finishing up, I am just picking up the kitchen a little bit. Our kitchen was such a mess and I'm happy I was able to tackle it in full detail during the rest of this week. We have all this mail that really needs to be sorted out through. Like a lot of it actually belongs to the previous owners of this house and they just keep getting their mail sent here. And it's like, well, what are you guys doing with your life? But that's neither here nor there. Um, I need to get a shredder for some of that stuff or just burn it in the fire, I guess. But I'm just cleaning down the counters. I have ordered the Petri dishes, so I will be testing out some of these cleaners soon for you guys too, by the way. So now it's around 7.15 and dinner is done, so I go ahead and prepare our plates. Yes, I'm making star-shaped toast for Edison. You guys saw that on Instagram. It's just a lot easier for me than going ahead and cutting off the edges. Just use a cookie cutter and bam, it's done and he's entertained. But I prepare our dishes and I bring them out to the living room. We do have a dining room area, but we just find it so much more comfortable to eat in the living room together or on the breakfast bar. And we saw this huge debate on Facebook saying who eats first, either your baby or you and your spouse. And I just never really understood that. Just from our family's perspective, we all eat at the same time. We love it that way. It's a great way for us to just reconnect and share our day with one another. So we sit down in the living room. We generally watch a bit of news while we eat and just share what we've done throughout the day. Actually lost a couple of clips of what we do throughout the rest of the night. However, it's not too much else. We just kind of cuddle up and watch some daily show as a family together. And then we hop in bed and read to Edison or Edison reads to us, depending on what night it is. And then we curl up in bed together and watch Murder, She Wrote and Pass Out. Anyway, that is the end of our family night routine. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up and a sub, and we will see you next time. Bye!